హలో గైస్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు పైథన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ట్యూటోరియల్స్ బై అమూల్స్ అకాడమీ సో టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ ట్యూటోరియల్ వీ ఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ అ ప్యాటర్న్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ దట్ ఈస్ వీ వాంట్ టు ప్రింట్ స్టార్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ షేప్ దట్ ఈస్ హార్ట్ షేప్ ఓకే సో దేర్ ఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ వేస్ టు రైట్ అ ప్రోగ్రామ్ సో టుడే హియర్ వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ వన్ వే టు రైట్ ది ప్రోగ్రామ్ టు ప్రింట్ స్టార్స్ ఇన్ ది హార్ట్ షేప్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ అదర్ ఐడియాస్ or way to write this program then don't forget to comment below all right so let's get started with the today's program so we want to print stars in the heart shape the first thing we need to do is we need to write down the output with rows and column we can see these are the rows here 0 through 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay and these are the columns 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, in my output there are 6 rows and 7 columns. So, in our program, first we will take 2 for loops because we want to print stars in different row and column. So, for that we need 2 for loop. So, we will use nested for loop here, for loop within the for loop. Like previous pattern programs, first we will write the for loop for row. inside that we'll write the for loop for column okay so in the python file first i need to write the for loop for row so here first i'll write for loop for row here i'll take my variable name as row if you want you can change the variable name in and i'll use range function here and inside the range i need to mention how many rows i want in my output we want six rows right we saw in the output we want six rows here it will start from zero so zero one two three four five okay so total six rows so here i'll mention my range as zero to six okay so that means it will give output as zero one two three four five that's what i want in my output right next inside this i'll take another for loop that is for column all right here call is my variable name and here also i am using range function and here inside the range function i need to mention how many columns i want in my output i want seven columns right here we can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means total seven columns so here i took range as seven so it will give output as 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 inside this for loop body i'll take if else conditional statement that's because here i want to print stars in the heart shape so for that we need condition that's why we use if else conditional statement and here i'll mention if keyword after that i need to mention in which row and column i want to print star okay so here i need to mention that for that we need to see the output so first what i'll do is i'll divide my output into different parts so that it will be easy to write the condition okay so this is my first part okay that is row 0 next this row 1 okay this is my second part so here this is my third part and this is my fourth part okay so i'll divide my output in four parts okay so here first we'll see this stars okay we want to print star at row 0 and column 1 column 2 column 4 column 5 row and column at row 0 i want star at column 1 column 2 column 4 and column 5 right i want star in this columns so i don't want star at 0 3 and 6 here observe this if i divide this column value by 3 we'll get the remainder as 0 that's nothing but if i divide 0 modulus 3 okay so if i check the remainder of this it will 0 3 modulus 3 so it is 0 6 modulus 3 it is 0 right and here we can see the, this 0 3 and 6 are the column values right 
so here first i write my condition as when row is equal to 0 and column modulus 3 is not equal to 0 i want to print star so okay so this is my first condition that is when row is equal to equal to 0 and column modulus 3 is not equal to 0 that is nothing but okay so it will check for the first condition that is this row 0 column 0 okay so row is equal to 0 so it will go to the and condition and it will check this condition whether column modulus equal to 0 or not here column value is 0 so so it will check it is equal to 0 right so this condition will become false so it won't print star here in the next position here we can see row 0 column 1 right so here it will check whether row is equal to 0 yes and it will come to the next condition so here column value is 1 so 1 modulus 3 whether it is equal to 0 no it is not right so it is equal to 1 so it will print this star at the output okay here we can see at row 0 we don't want star at column 0 column 3 and column 6 that's why here we mentioned the condition like this okay so this is my first condition here i'll check when row is equal to equal to 0 and column modulus 3 is not equal to 0 columns i want star okay this is my first condition and here we use logical and because to print star both these condition need to be true here okay so the first condition is when row is equal to 0 i want star at column 1 2 and 4 5 i don't want star at column 0 column 3 and column 6 that's why here we wrote the condition like this okay so we are done with the first part so next we'll move on to the next condition that is row 1 at row 1 we want star at column 0 column 3 column 6 it is the exact opposite of row 0 right at row 0 we don't want star at column 0 column 3 column 6 but in row 1 we want star at only column 0 column 3 and column 6 that's why i'll write the condition like this or when row is equal to equal to 1 column modulus 3 is equal to equal to 0 because here we want star at 0 3 and 6 right that's why here equal to equal to 0 when it is true i want to print star at row 0 i don't want star at 0 3 6 that's why here i mention not equal to okay and here or is the logical or operator and in the case of logical or operator if any one of this condition is true it will print star okay that's why here we took or operator here so next we will move on to the next condition so next we want to print star here so to print star here we'll subtract row and column values here we can write this as row and column okay so here we can see this star is at row 2 and column 0 this is at row 3 and column 1 this is at row 4 and column 2 and this is at row 5 and column 3 right so now what i'll do is to print these four stars i'll subtract column value from row if i do row minus column here 2 minus 0 so we'll get 2 3 minus 1 2 4 minus 2 2 5 minus 3 2 okay so in the case of these four stars if we subtract column value from row then we'll get the result as 2 so i'll write my condition like this when row minus column is equal to equal to 2 i want to print star okay so my next condition will be i'll check row minus column is equal to equal to 2 okay this is my third condition so to print these four stars next okay so next we want to print these three stars right 
so first we'll write the position of this star that is row and column value so this star is at row 2 and column 6 so i'll write row 2 column 6 next this star is at row 3 column 5 this star is at row 4 and column 4 okay so next to print these stars what i'll do is i'll add this row and column value so if i add this we can see 8 3 plus 5 8 4 plus 5 8 so if i add row plus column value it will give same output that is 8 so to print these three stars i'll write my condition like this when row plus column is equal to equal to 8 i want to print star so it will print these three stars so my next condition will be or row plus column is equal to equal to 8 colon here inside this body if any one of this condition is true i want to print star so star end is equal to empty string here end is equal to empty string is nothing but after printing one star i want control to be in the same line that's why here i took end is equal to empty string by default in print function end value will be slash n that is after printing star it will go to the next line but here we don't want that that's why here we took end is equal to empty string and here this is my first condition this is my second condition this is my third condition and next is the fourth condition here we use logical or between these conditions so if any one of these condition is true it will print star okay so next we'll go to the else part if that condition is not true okay then i want to print space in that place okay so space end is equal to empty string if that condition is not true i want to print space and here also i want to keep the control in the same line that that's why here i use end is equal to empty string okay here we can see in these places we want space that's why we wrote the else part okay and here we can see after printing one star i want next star immediately after that right so that's why we use end is equal to empty string here you can write like this space comma end equal to empty string or you can write end both are same okay next here inside the first for loop i'll use print function so this is inside the first for loop this print function is for new line that is after printing stars in one row we want to go to the next line here we can see after printing row zero we want next row in the new line right that's why here we use this print function so we are done with our code so we need to save this and run this and here we can see stars in the heart shape okay so here we wrote our program in the python 3.5 but if you are using python 2 and you want to run this code then you need to do few changes in the code that is so if you are using python 2 then you need to write the code like this till here it is same okay condition all are same here you just need to concentrate on print okay here print is not a function so you need to write like this and we can't use end here instead of that we can use comma at the end of the statement right so if i save this and run this here we can see stars in heart shape okay so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you next class till then take care